I thought I'd try something new today. So what I've done, I have made a montage of all my yellow sticker shopping uh, food expeditions for the whole of April. And I've put them all together into one video so that you can just enjoy them as they are. I know that some people drop into various vlogs for certain reasons. So I thought if I put all the food things together into one place, then if someone's only interested in those, they can see those. I think it's also an interesting exercise in seeing how I shop. Um, there are going to be some other things that I'm going to do to do with um, shopping. So I'm going to do a, um, a week of eating. Someone asked if I could do something about what I actually eat in a week because I don't spend an awful lot of money on food, mostly because it's discounts and I get a lot of gift cards and I got get a lot of nectar points and things like that. So a lot of the food I actually buy ends up being free because the money comes from somewhere else and not from my actual pocket. Um, so I'm going to do that. That's one thing. And then I'm going to uh, just carry on with the food audits and all the other bits and pieces because the food looks like it's going to be a bit more expensive this year. But I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me know what you think. I just thought it would be something different. I might, If people like it, I might do one at the end of every month, just to condense certain things that I do during my week into one thing, and people might find that a bit easier to work with. So, enjoy. Uh, I've been to Morrison's this morning. Uh, very short on vegetables. Good job I stashed up a little broccoli before I went away. So what we have here is a shop that costs or costed me three pound uh, six pounds six and then I had a saving which I'll tell you about in a moment. So I, uh, it was four pounds twenty one for this shop. So first thing mushrooms. Now yes it's just three big mushrooms but they were 79p, now 24p. And I reckon the size of those mushrooms against a punnet of closed cut mushrooms may well work out about the same. And 24p for a tub of closed cut mushrooms would be good. So I bought two of those and they will last a bit. I also bought yogurt. There was one of these lovely Greek style yogurts with the honey which I love. Uh, this was £1.45 down to 44p. How expensive that is, that's ridiculous. And I also bought a natural yogurt. This one was £1 and is down to 50p. So that's desserty type stuff sorted for a week. Um, I also got, I managed to get some potatoes. These were wonky potatoes, two kilogram bag was £1.19 down to 89p and I really did need potatoes because obviously I've just come back there's nothing in the potato stores um, I also got mackerel these were £2.37 down to 95p I bought two because I'm an absolute sucker for smoked mackerel so that's lunch sorted today um, the only other thing I got, which was a freebie, so with a lot of the apps, like the loyalty apps and the cashback apps, when it's your birthday, you get free stuff. I talked about the other day about how I got a 180 gram bar of fruit and nut for free from Shopmium, which was great. Today it was Morrison's turn. They had a, uh, you could get uh, uh, the best Morrison's chocolate, 100 grams for free. They are £1.85 and it gave a list of all the chocolates you could get and about six of them were available in my local store. So I bought this one which is the white version. Um, that's pretty good for free. I'm going to stick that in my emergency snack bag. I'm trying to be good. Um, I managed to not buy anything on the bread counter. Um, yesterday I made for lunch I made um, a chicken rice and broccoli uh, dish and I over made so that it lasted me lunchtime it provided all my 
snacking through the afternoon and there was even enough left for dinner so I didn't snack on bread and peanut butter or biscuits or anything like that and I don't have much in in the way of desserts at the moment because I've just got back I haven't made anything I haven't got the time at the moment so that worked out really well so yeah so that shop came to £4.21 and I've still been spending a £70 gift card that I got for doing a market research survey and it was a, a Flexi E gift card which means that you can divide it up between the different supermarkets. So I'd spent 50 um, at a, a combination of Morrisons and Sainsbury's and I had the last £20 left and I've divided it up. I've given £10 to Morrisons, £10 to Sainsbury's. So this £4.21 shop, well £6.6 six shop a saving of £1.85 because that was the chocolate, so it came to £4.21 and um, I used part of the gift card so uh, I didn't actually spend anything today which is a good start to April. I will add as usual up there what I actually saved on this shop in terms of the yellow sticker amounts because I think that's really important to emphasise that it's worth the effort. So, um, so I went to Morrison's first and with no expectation to be honest with you but there are a few things in there actually um not too bad so this isn't something i would normally buy but about this time they put like sandwiches and stuff out so this was 150 down to 23p cheese and onion sandwich now the only reason i've got this is because because i do the wednesday clean and i don't get back here until about half past two um it's too late to make dinner because I have tea between four and five. So something like that would be a quick, easy, it's better than me grabbing a packet of crisps out of the cupboard. Um, I'm afraid I did buy more bagels. These were even cheaper than last time. 48p, another one for the freezer. Uh, that was, hold on, that's 48p and that was 189. There were also some tea cakes. I haven't seen tea cakes in a long time. These were 135 down to 34p and they're Warburton's ones and again they go in the freezer and every so often I'll be like, oh, I'll have one of those. Massive pack of deli meat. This is pork and apple stuffing. These slices, I mean this was £2.88 down to 72p. I'll probably get three or four days out of that and I just uh, cut it up into small strips, small pieces and throw it into a stir fry or a pasta dish perfectly good lunch uh, more coleslaw 145 down to 37p love the coleslaw and the other thing I did get the only actual vegetable thing I got was um, ready chopped mushrooms I never buy ready chopped vegetables but every so often you'll get something really cheap on the counter so this was two pounds down to 50p and that's a good sized amount of mushrooms it doesn't have a weight on there oh hang on uh 500 grams so that's more than a standard box which i think is something like is it 280 or 340 that's 500 grams for 50p so that's like a planet and a half of mushrooms i can go through those easily you have to use them quicker of course because they're ready sliced but we can do that and that's the lot. Um, no idea how much that cost, but it will go up there. Hang on, where is the receipt? That cost me £2.64 for that lot. I don't know what the saving is. I'll put it up the side where I normally do. And that's the end of Tuesday. And then I went to Poundlag because Shopium are doing a discount. Uh, these for 50p. That's a three pack, so there's six six little slice things in there they're all right um but for 50p can't complain um so i'm going to put my receipt through now and get my uh get my money back on that so that's pretty cool right so i'm back from cleaning and morrison's my morrison's bag here this sunday was a good sunday i spent nine pounds 47 i had three pounds 68 left on my morrison's gift card so that meant I had £5.79 to pay. And I'm really pleased with what I've got. 
I don't know what the saving is. I'll put that up there at the end so you can see. So I'm going to show you what I got. Really good on the vegetables from. So, greens. These were 79p, down to 59p. I put these in water and that'll help them keep. I also got a cauliflower, which was £1.9. £1.9 for a cauliflower. And they're not even big cauliflowers. Down to 44p, so that's really good. You can eat the leaves as well as the hearts. Um, I also got some more potatoes. This is a 2k bag. Was £2.20, now 66p. That's Morrison's best. There weren't many potatoes on yellow sticker. It was just those ones. Uh, what else? Cherry tomatoes, two of those. They were £1.29, down to 64p. Two of those. Uh, <laughs> more broccoli. See, broccoli season's coming. Uh, 79p, down to 59p. I've got two of those. I've got loads of broccoli in the freezer. That's almost like rainy day funds. So I'm going to keep these out, I should think, and start using these and coleslaw man i love coleslaw so this was one pound 65 this was morrison's best coleslaw down to 66p so that's a nice little addition uh bagels see bread sucker for bagels right we have one from the new york bay uh the new york a bakery company these are red onion and chive. They were £1.89 down to 56p. And these are Warburton's bagels. They're the sliced ones, cinnamon and raisin. They were £1.89, also down to 56p. So those will go in the freezer for rainy days. Yogurt. Two natural yogurt. These were a pound each. These are Morrison's. They were a pound each, down to 30p. So that helps with the whole dessert thing that's going on. And my best deal of the day, baking margarine. This stuff's expensive now. This is a... I uh, can't read it. They put the stickers over the top size. Huh. No, hold on. It's probably a 2k, I should imagine. Oh no, it's a 1k. These are 1k tubs. These were £3.25 down to 98p. So I bought three. Now, I know this stuff has used by dates on, but I've had margarine baking margarine in my fridge sometimes for months and it's been absolutely fine so I'm not going to worry about that so that is my Sunday haul lots of vegetables really really good dessert stuff and I went into Morrison's as normal Sunday morning so let's start with more potatoes these were 119 down to 89p it tends to be a fairly standard price on potatoes not many um discounted potatoes normally when you go there's only like two or three so they're clearly selling quite well at the moment here's something i don't often get uh nan's oat cakes uh were a pound now 50p and i bought another one a different one this is the rough oat cakes so i've got one of each variety uh these are the scottish rough oat cakes uh or were a pound also 50p these are great because they will go into the stockpile for quite a while now the other thing I've got which over the last couple of years I think not so much last year but the year before you used to get loads of oat milk for free on the cashback apps uh, mostly minor figures but you also had milkology and a few others occasionally and I managed to get an entire year's worth of milk supply because of all these freebies because the oat milks have a long life on them. So I'd stack them all up and just use them in rotation when the dates came up. You, uh, at the moment, they're doing a 50% off on quite a few of these uh, 
minor figures oat milks and barista milks and things but um, when you look at how much milk you get for that 75p because they're £1.54 price it's still better to go and buy the full price six pints of milk from Sainsbury's for whatever it is at the moment 218 or something dilute it down make it into uh, 12 pints and then stick it in the freezer much easier anyway so they had some on they're quite close to their dates uh, yeah these are today but I'm gonna sit in the fridge they'll be fine and they're also a bit squash which I think probably doesn't help their full price so these were two pounds I've got two of this type which are the everyday oat light these were two pounds down to 20p each so I've got two of those I love oatmeal if I had the money I would just only drink oat milk I love it and then the other one was um, the the standard everyday oat this is really squished it has a, uh, a longer date on it it's good till the 13th of June but it's been squished the packaging's not great so it was one pound 15 down to 15p so I'm going to use that one first maybe the packaging still looks sealed because it's got like a plastic coating on it so actually I'm going to leave this I'm going to put this in the fridge and then use the other ones um, so that whole lot came to £2.44 um, and as usual I will put all the uh, the shelf price and the savings there and I have a small Morrison's haul uh, nothing massively exciting, but not too bad. Crisps. I know, I'm sorry. £1.49 down to 75p. Discos. I didn't even know they still made discos. Uh, six packs in there. Into the emergency snack bag. I did buy a sandwich like I did last week because when I get back from the Wednesday clean, it's after lunch but I'm hungry because I haven't had anything and something like this is quick and easy. This is a tuna mayo sandwich. It was £1.50, now 38p. I got asparagus. It was £2.25 for a bunch of asparagus. That's insane. Down to 57p. They're feeling a bit limp, so I'm going to put them in water. And the last thing I got... I'm not sure this was actually a good purchase because I didn't really acknowledge the size of these bags of flour. These were £2.04, down to 51p each. But flour is a pretty difficult commodity to get these days. These are self-raising, so these are great for any of the things that I would normally make. Um, generally, if I've only got plain flour... I will just shove some um, baking powder in it, does the same job. Anyway, so that little lot cost me £2.72 and as usual I will put the information at the side to say what the shelf price would have been if I paid full price and how much I saved by buying the yellow stickers. Hope you enjoyed that. As a quick summary, I thought I'd give you to, this to you at the end so you don't have to do the calculations for yourself. Had I bought all of that food at the full shelf price, that would have cost me £67.41 uh, with all the savings on the cashback apps and the yellow stickers. That shop would have come in at £46.23, but as you'll see from that first little excerpt on there, um, that shop that first shop was actually free because I had a gift card so I didn't actually pay anything out of my own pocket for that and also don't forget that when I, I keep spreadsheets for all my food in and out every month and a lot of what I've bought there won't have been eaten in April so what I do I have a roll on so there'll be all the food that I've bought for the month for all the different shops then the next column will be everything that got rolled over from the previous month which gets added in because theoretically I might eat all the food I've got in my stores and then further down the spreadsheet is everything that gets rolled over to the next month so that will be most of what's in the section 
that got rolled over from the previous month and then anything that doesn't get eaten again like various tins of stuff anything that's in the freezer that I haven't opened then gets rolled on again and of course anything that's in the top section which is the food that I've bought for April any of that that doesn't get eaten or opened gets rolled over again so that isn't my actual sp spend or my, my eaten spend for April I actually spent physically ate 24 pounds worth of food in April and what happens is that as the course of the year goes on things that were rolled over for the most part eventually get eaten some things I've, I've, I've been rolling on since 2022 because some things will just store forever but what I end up with at the end of the year is an accurate this is the physical amount of food I have eaten financially for the whole year and some people might say, well, yeah, but you didn't, your physical purchase was this, that or the other. But I go by what I physically eat because at some point the things that I've rolled on will get eaten and be added to that month or whenever. So that's how I do my food budget. And of course, a lot of what I've bought is free. So a lot of the things that I roll on to the next month didn't cost me anything anyway. So they don't impact the value of that that eat the amount of food that month I hope that makes sense it makes complete sense to me for me it's what it helps me to do is to understand how much food I've got in store because it's very easy when you're just shoving things in cupboards and putting things to the back of the freezer to forget they're there and it means that every so often I can go through have a look at what I've got on my list and say, right, I probably should use that now or I don't, I've got, I need to stop buying that in the shops because I have X number of them already and it stops me overpopulating the cupboards with things that I don't need 15 tins of. It stops me from forgetting what's there and then I can end up with an accurate overview at the end of every month of what I still have available to me. So if I have a month where I decide, you know, I need to stop, I need to stop shopping, what can I not buy? Okay, I don't need tins, I don't need any canned fish, um, I don't need any um, bagels because I've got four packs in the freezer, I don't need any discounted just roll ready-made pastry because I have three blocks in the freezer and it just stops me from losing the plot completely anyway so I, I've included those numbers there I'll put that at the side as well so you can see the recommended retail price that have been the shelf price I would have paid um, it, I've also included the saving that I would have made had I physically bought all those things myself but of course as I say I only spent 24 pounds in April because a lot of the food was rolled on, a lot of the things I bought were actually free because it was bought with a gift card that I hadn't bought myself. I hope that makes sense. If you want more, I've, I have done a, I'm pretty sure I have done a how-to guide on how I do my food budget. I'll include that somewhere at the end here so you can click on the link and go to that video if you want to see how I do it. But if you're trying to get your food spend under control, either because you just go in and buy whatever you want and it's basically bankrupting you or because you know that you overspend and you want to get better at it. You know, sometimes in the comments I've had people say they spend 60 quid a week on food. There was one, I think she spent over a thousand pounds a month on food. I don't know how that happens because I couldn't physically survive financially if I was spending those kinds of amounts on food. Um, I am more comfortable financially than I was last year and the year before that, but never, never take advantage of those situations. All the money I'm not spending means that I am not worrying if things take a turn. If Covid came back, if I lost my flat, I have money available to help me because I don't want to end up like people who have lost their homes, who can't afford to buy food. I need to know that I have enough money to protect me if things change. That The one thing I don't have to worry about is how can I afford a removal van? How can I afford, I don't know, buy a new TV? Like when my laptop blew up at Christmas, I didn't go, oh my God, I can't afford it, Dad, can you buy this for me? 
I'm 50 years old for goodness sakes. I just went and bought it. I didn't just buy the first thing I saw. I bought what I knew I needed and what I wanted and that was the best price. But I didn't go, oh my God, this has now bankrupted me for the beginning of the year. My new year's going to start badly because I had to spend £400 on a laptop. That's why I do it. I don't worry about running out of money anymore like I used to. I don't get scared when it's getting close to the renewal of my tenancy. Is, is the rent going to go up? Um, is this where I have to move back with my parents? That sort of thing. So the mentality around it is that it de-stresses my life. Simple as. Why would I blow the money? We all have different ways of looking at money and looking at finances, looking at debt. I think debt is a bad thing. Debt means that you are living off somebody else's money. It's not your own. And that can get called in at any time. Don't want to go there. Don't want to do it. Been there, seen it, done it. So I'm going to end now because I'm ranting now. Anyway, so that food haul, I think con I condensed down to about 15 minutes. Hope you enjoy it. As I say before, uh, let me know what you think of that. Is that a fun way for me to just condense all that into one? If you're here for the food hauls and you don't want to be trailing through my Week in the Life videos and looking for them, maybe this is a more condensed version of, of that aspect of my life that you really enjoy. So let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.